Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to answer a very big trick question that is asked in chemical engineering interviews and also in uh, undergraduate and postgraduate viva. That is, how do you derive Reynolds number? Okay. Uh, now, for this, you do not need to remember anything except the fact that Reynolds number Re is defined as the ratio of inertial force per unit area where area is given as A divided by viscous force per unit area. Okay. Now, simply from this derivation, you uh, from the definition, you can actually derive this. So, let us first talk about inertial force per unit area. Now, you know inertial force simply means mass into velocity for a body or for a system. So, here you are talking about a fluid. So, you will talk about its average velocity. Mass into average velocity by A. Now, this mass can be represented as rho into Q, which is the volumetric flow rate, multiplied by V average by A. Now, again, if you further simplify it, you can write rho V average into A into V average by A. Because Q is the product of flow area and average velocity. So, A and A gets cancelled. You have rho into V average square. Okay. Now, coming to viscous force per unit area. You know about Newton's law of viscosity. From there, you can get viscous force per unit area as mu into V average by diameter of the pipe. Okay. So, simply you just plug in these two expressions and you will get rho V average square divided by mu into V average by D. And this will give you D rho V average by mu. This is essentially the derivation for Reynolds number. So, if you just remember the definition and you have studied the first chapter of your uh, fluid mechanics book, then you can answer this very tricky question asked in interviews. How do you derive Reynolds number? That is it. Thank you.